Shalom, Yashala, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharala. Kol Holoyim La Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Har Chakodash. For blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwa for this keeping the faith in the works. Y'all keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. Um, I must admit, I've been having quite a time trying to, you know, come up with something to speak on. And, um, really haven't been able to come up with anything. So, it's a lot. One second. So, um, basically what I'm going to do is just um, type in a phrase and we're going to search some of these precepts out. Um, the thing that's been going in my head has been endurance, man. Um, endure, you know. In this in this world, in this wicked-ass world, man, I'm talking about we surrounded by it from everything we watch, everything we listen to, as far as television and movies and just surrounded by wickedness man matter of fact let me see um what's that psalm 23 all right psalm 23 and um verse 4 says yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. All right? We literally in the valley of the shadow of death. We surrounded by it. All right? So, you know, it's a spiritual battle every day. Just trying to keep your mind sane. You know what I'm saying? That's why heavy on the prayers. You know what I'm saying? Fast whenever possible. <laughs> I know a lot of brothers, they say, a lot of brothers fast like every week, but and I, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you like this. Me, it's not. <clears throat> I really do not enjoy fasting, but you know, if the spirit come on me to do so, I'll fast. <clears throat> right, but at the end of the day, man, to endure this place is something so serious. It's heavy on the body. You know what I'm saying? Heavy on the mind. Heavy on the spirit. Um takes a lot of people out of this place trying to endure this place they say stress kills and it does enduring this place brings stress you know what i mean but if you're enduring this place in in more of a spiritual manner than uh, trying to do it physical then you know it's different i say that so let's put that in and see what come up um let me see. Mm. The stress from God was terrible to me. Black reason I was hard as I could not endure. Mm. Let me see. Okay, speaking about endurance, what does endure more so than anything that we can, like I was just speaking on, right? I'll call hello, you like, how about you, how was I? If you're enduring in a, in a spiritual manner, you have more power in that endurance than trying to do it in a physical manner because you're not leaning on yourself, you're leaning on, you know, the spirit of your how about you, how was I? All right, this is uh, Psalms 104.31. It says, The glory of Yahweh shall endure forever. Right? Yahweh shall rejoice in his works. Right? So if you're leaning more so on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, your endurance is all the more stronger because Yahweh, Yahweh endures forever. He endures long suffering, so forth and so on. Right? Greater than any man could. Right? Psalms 107 and 1, O oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Right? That's love that the Most High has for us, and he understands that it's hard for us in this place. Right? So if you lean leaning more so 
more so in the spirit, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 that load gets lightened. But when you lean on, you know what I'm saying, carnal things to try to bring you peace, to try to help you endure this place, it don't last, bro, right? It's not strong enough because this world is way too wicked. You know what I'm saying? The powers that be, they do not rest, right? They never rest in trying to present wickedness into our spirits, into our minds. So, and Scripture already says, Scripture says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Right, but against spiritual weakness in high places, right? Roughly paraphrasing. Right. So if we're not wrestling with flesh and blood, it's it's um really ignorant to try to fight that with carnality. You have to do it spiritually. Have to. The weapons of our warfare are spiritual. Right? So you have to battle, you know, spiritual. Right? So let me see. Uh, huh. Psalms 117 and 2 says, For his merciful kindness is great toward us. Right? It's great towards us. So if we if we relying on, on Abba's mercy, which endureth forever, it's already great towards us, right? And the truth of Yahweh endureth forever, praise ye Yahweh, right? <laughs> so if you're relying on the truth, like I said, spiritual things are way stronger than anything carnal. Sometimes it may feel like it got you down, right? You may feel like it's a little bit too much on you, right? But scripture basically says, the most I want to put more on you than you can bear. So whatever it is you got going on in your life, you know what I'm saying? Just understand, it ain't. It's not so much that it is about to take you out or take you under. You know what I'm saying? It's just a it's just a test, just a trial. It's momentarily, however long that moment may be. So if you just endure, lean on the word of your how about Shimmy how was shy. You know what I'm saying? To understand that he he's the one that brought you in there. Right, scripture says, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? And if you're trying to be as righteous as you possibly can, then the most high got you, man. Get the lesson out of it, out of whatever it is that you're going through and move on. Right? Let me see. Psalms 118 and 2. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Right? Yasharala says that, and we understand that and we believe that. All right. Let's see. Mm. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> the hell's going to break can let me see um mm, come songs matter of fact let me get the 23 um So this Psalms 136 and um, verse 1 says, Oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Right? Give thanks to Yahweh for all your for all everything that you're going through, good and bad, man. Cause at the end of the day, what, what scripture says about the most high bamming up his people? It says he chastens those that he loves. So if you understand that, then you understand that. And I mean, the most high got you going through these things is it's for character. It's for wisdom's sake. So that you will gain wisdom, right? Gain strength and wisdom. Because when those hard times come, you don't resort back to the old you, right? You go straight into the spiritual things. You go straight into praying to, to your how about Shemi Hawashah. Like I said, if you get bad enough, you go into fasting. You instantly go into the word, right? Whatever that precept is that the Most High has going 
around and around and around in your mind when that time comes. You you say that and speak that to yourself. You meditate on, on his word. Right? And you understand that it's for your good. It ain't for your bad. The, the enemy may have meant it for bad, but the most high meant it for your good. Right? Let me see. It says in verse 14, and may Israel pass through the midst of it for his mercy endureth forever. Right? Speaking about us going through that Red Sea. Can you imagine our forefathers seeing a body of water so huge that you can't see the other side? It just looked like water. Right? And that water splitting. Right? And you walking in the midst of that water. Can you imagine being at the bottom of that body of water and seeing What's in the water around you, but Yahweh keeping that thing still and allowing you to pass through. A lot of people can't envision that, right? Because it ain't in their spirit too. Yahweh didn't bless everybody to be able to see and hear, right? But our forefathers did pass through and understood that Yahweh's mercy endureth forever. So if his mercy endures forever, then we can endure Whatever trial or tribulation he may send us through. Right? Verse 21 it says, And gave their land for inheritance for his mercy and it forever. We got our land. Right? That was the whole point of us leaving that place. We were going into our land and we still got our land. And the most high gonna bring us back into that place. But you gotta endure this place, this hell, right, in order to make it into our place. And it says, even in heritage unto Yasharallah, his servant, for his mercy endures forever, who remembered us in our lowest state, for his mercy endures forever. Yahweh know what we're going through, man. He know what we wrestling with. He know it in our own in our own household. He already understand the hell that you're going through. Because everybody in your household don't have the faith that you have. Everybody in your household don't have the mindset that you have. The, the Most High didn't bless them with it, so they can't see. They don't. They don't have the passion that you have, right? For trying to please your by Shimei Yahushai. He understands that. You think he placed those people in your life for no reason? It's a reason, right? And I say it's all for wisdom's sake, man. Really, all for for the name of Yahweh by Shimei Yahushai. So once that once it gets to the point to you have endured to completion and now comes salvation, right? By you doing what you're doing, it's going to also trickle down to the ones that were around you if it be the most high will, right? Don't get that twisted neither. Just because you know somebody that's in the truth and you may be in the same household, that don't guarantee you no salvation. Scriptures say, Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's a personal thing. Right? Let me see. Mm. Matthew 10, 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. He then you know I'm finna send y'all do some stretch, some straight up hell. Y'all finna go through it. But at the end of the day, those of you that rely on me, that know my mercy endures forever, that know the name of the the, the the name of the Lord, it reigns supreme forever. Right? You already understand that I got you. It was written before the world even began that I got you. We will be able to endure until the end and reach salvation. I say, how about you, man? I'll watch I'm in that number. And if you're hearing this and you can understand, you are too. All right? Uh, same thing, Matthew 24, 13. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. You have to endure. You have to endure the torment. You have to endure the mental oppression. All right? You have to endure all of, the, all of this world and everything that comes with it. You have to. Even though the world can't understand what's going on in your spirit, because they spiritually are not connected to your how about you, how shy like that. It seems weird to them to deny, to deny yourself certain things 
for the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai only. Because you can easily go do whatever it is you feel like doing. Like real talk, ain't no chains around your neck. Ain't no shackles on your feet. You can go do whatever it is you feel like doing. But the thing that, that restrains you, elect of the elect, is the fear of the Lord. That's the thing that, that restrains you. The thing that allows you to endure is the fear of the Lord. Right? So, First Corinthians chapter 13. And uh, verse 4, it says charity, but the word really is love. It says, charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. That truth that endures forever, right? Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. I'm talking about real love, man. I ain't talking about Webster's Dictionary, right? Real love, charity, love never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away, for we know in part and we prophesy in part. Right? The Most High endures forever, man. So he endures forever and you dealing with him in the spirit. And guess what? You can endure too. Right? Whatever this world got to offer, like I said, if you, if you outside your household or you actually inside your household, bro, all of us got, all of us are dealing with it. All of us. So just endure, man. Keep it moving. Keep it pushing. Keep the faith. Keep the works. And how Hashem Yahweh Shah going to reward us in the end, man. All right? Let me see. Uh, is that a four? So look, I'm looking for a certain precept. Um, right, right, right. Okay, so this is Second Ezra chapter two. Uh, let me see. Okay, Second Ezra chapter two and. Second Ezra chapter two and verse thirty six. It says, "Flee the shadow of this world, right? Flee the shadow of this world. What's the shadow of this world? We just read it in the book of Psalm chapter twenty three. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, right? It says, flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory, <laughs> that glory that comes from Yahweh, because that glory endures forever. So if you endure." Then you get to partake in that glory. All right? It says, I testify my Savior openly. Oh, receive the gift that is given you and be glad, giving thanks unto him that hath called you to the heavenly kingdom. All right? It says, Arise up and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of Yahweh. Yes, it's going to be a feast once the daughter of Babylon is destroyed. It's going to be a feast. Once we get them crowns, how about Shemal Sharatazah? Right? It says, which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of Yahweh. It says, take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those 
Shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of Yahweh. Right? All prophecies are done. We in the kingdom. Right? We ruling under Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. No more wickedness in us. We got new bodies, new minds. Like we re receiving our crowns. Right? It says, and in the midst of them, there was a young man. Well, hold on, Salah. I'm going to skip a few. Verse 41 says, The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. One third, 144,000, right? Beseech the power of Yahweh that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised Yahweh with songs. These are the individuals that endured, endured until the end and received salvation. Right? It says, and in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. Right? It says, so I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of power. Now are they crowned and receive palms, right? It says, then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of power whom they have confessed in the world, right? They confessed them in the world. But the world couldn't understand it. The world mocked. Uh, here you go again with that. Uh, back on the corner. Uh, he talking about don't do this, don't do that. Uh, he talking about Christmas is this. He saying this pagan and this pagan. They couldn't understand it. Because the spirit wasn't dealing with them on that level. Right? It says, so he answered and said unto me, it is the son of power whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh. Because it ain't about what this world uh, view you as. Like I said, that's, that's whether it's out your household or in your household. It ain't about them. It's about how you how about Shemin how I see you. They can't understand it because the spirit ain't dealing with them to understand it. But you do because the spirit is dealing with you. You do take keeping that word serious. You do take having faith serious. Right? It's to the point to where, yeah, you walk around on eggshells spiritually because you don't want to offend. You understand that the Most High gave you a gift of understanding. This ain't something that you anybody could just learn. How many people got the Bible? How many people have read the Bible and cannot understand what's written inside of it for the life of them? Or somebody, you can break down precepts, you can show. Uh, historical books, you can bring bring out archaeological finds. None of that fades anything. It's because the spirit ain't dealing with them to see. So if the spirit ain't dealing with them to see, they cannot endure spiritually. That's why a lot of people end up going way left when when uh confronted with adversity. Because they don't resort in the spirit. They go straight carnal with it. Right, but those of us that know, on um, that know the Lord, I say y'all about your mouth, right as I do, and if you're hearing this, you do too. Right, we understand that we have to stand stiff in this world, man. In this anti Hamashiach world, anti Messiah world, right? Because we're looking for greater things to come. We're looking for glory, man. Right. Verse 48, it says, then the angel said unto me, go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of Yahweh thy power thou hast seen. And that's what the men of the Lord do. Right. Hit them highways and hedges and let the people know. I say the people can't understand it. But hey, <laughs> matter of fact, let me close out with this. So this wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 1, it says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. All right? It says, When they see it, 
they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. Right, And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor because they couldn't see. They couldn't understand why the men of the Lord keep doing it every week. Why Why they go out into the highways and hedges with Bibles in their hands, telling people to wake up and telling people about what's going on around the world, then going into the Bible and saying, well, see, this it's in it's in Revelation and it's in Ezekiel and it's in Second Ezra and it's in Psalms, so forth and so on. Why they keep doing it? How come they don't come out and smoke and go party, you know what I'm saying, with everybody else? How come they don't celebrate birthdays? How come it's always a problem? Why don't eat pork? Why don't eat shrimp? Why don't eat crab? Why don't eat lobster? I don't understand that. Because the Most High didn't give you the understanding. Right? But when you see it, it's going to be too late. Because we talking about salvation and where's the Messiah? Where's the Messiah? Chapter 5. That's salvation. So you seeing salvation, but you're not a part of it. You also seeing in the midst of salvation destruction, but you are a part of the destruction, but not the salvation. Amen. I say, man, if you if you if the most high bless you with the spirit to understand his word, endure, man. Endure in the glory of, of Yahweh. Endure in the name of Yahweh. Endure in the mercies of Yahweh. Endure in the grace of Yahweh. Right? That's what it's there for. It's for you to partake of. Right? So I ended with that. Yahweh by Shimei Hashem Ratazah. These precepts in this video were edifying. Call Holoyim La Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Harakakodash. Shalom Yashallah.